So I just watched the first episode of The Defective on Funimation Channel. I'm pretty much going into a blind. I know nothing. I just know that it's a BL. And that it's based on a novel by the author Priest, who's really big. I have not read any of Priest's work. I've read a lot of, you know, Chinese novels. But I just never go around to Priest. I... We'll see if this show actually makes me want to, you know, delve into it. But I kind of enjoy that I've been going into this series, you know, raw and uninformed. Because I'm going to be able to make a judgment as I go. And it'll be kind of fun to figure out what's going to happen next and whatnot. Um, I was super surprised that Funimation even picked this up. This is their second... BL Dangwa that they've picked up. It's their third Dangwa period. Uh, I never in my life would have predicted that Funimation would really start expanding their catalog in such a manner. They're really starting to pick up more BL. Speaking of which, Funimation, uh, you said you were going to dub Heaven Official's Blessing, and that was a long time ago. Where is it? I better be getting a physical release sometime this year, hopefully. And it better say English dub. Because you promised. You promised an English dub. And I haven't got it yet. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Also, we've heard no news from the people about who, you know, made it. Uh, about a season two? And everybody's been freaking out about season two. And I'm still like, okay, but dub? Where? Because I'm a dub whore. I used to be a really big fan of Star Wars, the original series. Not so much the new stuff, but I really like the old stuff. And this show kind of gives me space drama vibes, futuristic vibes. And I, I'm, I'm kind of digging it. Also, the animation is super pretty. I mean, look at the details of this chick's eyes. So beautiful. It's not just the people designs, but it's also the attention to detail in the environment around you, the space, and this random part of town. It doesn't seem animated to you. It almost seems like you're there. It's like pulling you in. They really put a lot of detail into everything they animated it. Speaking of beautifully animated, this woman, I know not her name, but I do know she has enchanted me with her big, beautiful personality. <laughs> Everything about her was just awesome. I got a crush on her, man. <laughs> oh, and this girl here, they said her name at some point, but I don't remember anybody's names. I don't even think half the people said what their names are. So... I don't know who anybody is, but this girl, she kind of makes me think of a, a Final Fantasy character. And she, she, she's making me think of like five different Final Fantasy characters all molded into one. I think my favorite part of this episode is when this dude here just yeets a child. And I, <laughs> I just had this brief moment where I just thought, yeah, F those kids. Yeets <laughs> them. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just, I, I, I laughed. Oh, and there's this cute iguana thing. It's adorable. It's a feisty little thing. I love it. I guess these two are the main couple. I only saw, like, one of the main couple. I, don't, I think I saw one of them in, like, the opening. I don't know. Um, hopefully I'll get more interested in them, but I, I, don't, I don't really have any opinions yet. From what I could gather, there's this plot going on of kids and other people, I guess, being kidnapped, including that one kid that gets eaten, and it's set in some kind of futuristic space thing, and there's this one dude whose body is in space. I don't know who that dude is, but he's in space, and there's this girl that's sad. <laughs> And this other girl that belongs in a Final Fantasy game, she's out there basically pretending to be some kind of inner street superhero kid, even though she's not. I, 
I don't know. Like I said, I don't feel like I absorbed all that too much of the show. Oh, and there's this guy with weird eyes. I think he's a hologram robot, but I'm not sure. But I feel like he is. I don't know. I honestly, I got distracted a lot by my cat. But um, I plan on rewatching the first episode before I watch the second episode, which both episodes are up on Funimation.com. So you should definitely watch it on there. If not, it will be up on their YouTube, official YouTube channel, Billy Billy, I think it is, um, in a week or two. But yeah. All in all, I'd give the first episode probably a 7 out of 10. I'd give it a higher score, but again, I'm very confused as to what's going on. If you like this video, subscribe. And then you can see more like this. Um, also, you can check out my past videos. A lot of them are uh, similar reviews and stuff. And yeah, bye.